is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even to give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personally. Become immune to poison. This is quite a card. The whole world can gossip about you. If you don't take it personally, you are immune. You are immune. Immunity to poison in the middle of hell is the gift of the second agreement. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 108, NASDAQ up 115, SPs up 12 and a half. Gold, gold contract down $4.50, trading at 2,038 an ounce. We have silver down 24 cents, $25.65 an ounce, light sweet crude. Off a buck seventeen, seventy-two dollars fifty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note up twenty-one ticks, trading one fifteen twenty-six. The thirty-year up a full point at one thirty nineteen. And king dollar, king dollar down one hundred and thirty-four ticks, trading one hundred one four seventy-one. The euro is at one hundred nine. The yen is at one thirty-four. And the British pound is at one twenty-six to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do we have? Well, if we look at the SPY first, what you're going to see, you get a sideways move, you know. Bottom line, you know, you have some volume here, though. I mean, we did 63 million shares. Um, that's a consolidation at, at its highs, okay? So it's like, okay, you're still going to go for this high up here? Yeah, I suspect it can. You know, the last high that we had established out here. Well, what, it, what has happened is this. We've had two lower highs thus far you know so we'll see whether it can make it up to that 417 you're at 412 290 right now the Qs are a different story the Qs, bottom line look like they want to go higher you get volume coming in them you know it's been an up and down market all day no doubt you know you had the price spread in them but you're pushing highs and you're pushing it with volume um you know so that's telling me the Qs want to get the higher price and if we take a look at this on a weekly basis we pull this up you know, the swing point that's sticking out here still is at that, uh, geez, it's 10 points higher, man. I mean, that's uh, 3, 334, you know. So that's what, that's, that, those cues get a different animal happening in them. Let's go inside the NDX today and just look at what's in, what's in them. So inside the NDX today, you get Datadog up 8%, Illumina is up 7%, Zscale is up 7%. Google's up four. Taken away from it here, B&B's down 10. You got PayPal off four. You got uh, Walmart Boots down two. And Marriott's off two. We go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do you have with gold contract out here? You know, you're down four bucks. That's really a sideways move when you start talking about where we are. You get, uh, oh, this is 20. This is a good move. Yeah, this is really big volume. Okay, we're still pushing highs with volume. This is good. This is, yeah, we get 2 million shares, 2 million contracts here. 2? No, 237,000. Yeah, but that's, that's good contract volume. So you, you, gold's still in an ABC structure on the way up. Now you're pushing highs again, and you're pushing with volume. We go to the dollar, and we take a look at the dollar. What you have inside the dollar, and you can see that the, 
the dollar is running the markets. Well, the dollar and interest rate structure. But you can see when we, when we start, let me put this on an intraday chart so you can see how this shakes out. On an intraday chart, what you're going to see here is that, you know, the dollar bottom line started out at a price post. It was at 9 o'clock. Yeah. So the, the dollar started out, it was at uh, approximately the 101 700 area. Um, bottom line is that when that started giving it up on price, what you had is that the S&P, you know, bottom line, went topside in a, in a huge way. And, you know, the, the correlation is just so direct, okay? So put this back and you're going to see what we're talking about here. You know, the S&P, the futures there, we went to, from the 4127, got all the way up to 4173. As the dollar come off its lows, that's when we went from the 4173 all the way down to the 4112. Now what has happened again is that the dollar's given it up again. Bottom line, that gives the market a little more breathing room. So, you know, this dollar is going to get really intriguing, you know, because what has happened with the dollar, you can see that what the dollar has done is that, you know, it has made higher lows. It's pretty subtle, but... You know, when we take a look at this, you're going to see that every one of these lows have been higher since going back to the April 15th area. You know, excluding going back to January. That is the low. But then we came in with one, two, three, four. This is the fifth higher low. Now, we don't have a higher high. Okay, so I suspect, though, this 106 is game again, you know, because... Yeah, that's that's we'll see where it shakes out, but it, it's 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 a real tricky one at this area. But that's what it looks like. But we have the wide price spread out here, um, which you know, if you're trading both sides of the market, or even one side of the market, whatever side you like, uh, bulls and bears got everything they need out here today. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, um, we had uh, Tesla. Tesla's flat. Advanced Micro's up a buck seventy. We had uh, Amazon up 350. Amazon's moving. Let's take a look at Amazon. What is happening here? Yeah, see that that it wants that spike up there. Amazon has that high volume up there at that 114 area. So that's where I suspect it wants to go. And I'm sure you know, depending on how long you've listed, folks. Okay. Uh, it was a real bummer. We lost our German Shepherd yesterday. Anyway. Harley, uh, 13 and a half years old. You've seen him because he's been here beside me some days. Uh, it's always tough. That was my seventh German Shepherd. I've had a German Shepherd since I've been 14. Insane. Anyway. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, down 101, NASDAQ up 118, come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 90. Nasdaq's up 123. S&Ps are up 14. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials. We'll take a look at the strength versus the weakness point-wise inside here. So what we have is that you get Microsoft putting a 34 positive points, Salesforce 25, Apple 9, taken away from it. American Express, minus 33. Goldman, minus 22. Visa, minus 18. Chevron minus 13. Let's go take a look at that oil market. So the oil market, right now we're trading 72. Okay, so now the question's going to be here. Let's take a look at this. So put some volume on this. So we went fast and furious from the highs of 87 down to 63. We take a look at this. So you're right at a point three eight two, right? No, you're you're at a five zero. It's a five zero. Yeah, you're at a five zero right now. So this is the volume's not bad, but it's going to need a lot more volume. You can see this. See, you, right now we're doing three hundred twenty-seven thousand. Well, the three twenty-seven though is going into four fifty. You know, so bottom line, that doesn't you know bad bid well for higher prices. If we take a look at the XLE, the equities that are inside it. Yeah, they want to test the lows. So the XLE, it's got a high volume low. That's laying down there at the $75. Right now it's 79. We push this out. Okay, this is though this is interesting though. Look at this. Yeah, this is interesting. So watch this. I haven't seen one of these for a while. So what's happening? Now, this is setting up a long triangle, folks. And what happens is that, let me pull this over. This won't be finished. It's hard to tell. Let's see. I have this on the weekly. I have this on the weekly. So this looks like it has at least, at least a couple months to go. And something to keep in mind on something like this, right? Many times what does happen is that the first move is not the move that it, that it going to basically do the continuation contract, con continuation. So let's say that if the first move of the break of this triangle goes lower, most times will end up happening. It's a false break downtown, and you're going to go higher. If the first break is uptown, 
many times you're just going to go lower. You really want to watch something like this. And what happens is this. If it breaks right here, it's not good at all. That, that's the bottom line, no matter which way it went. Then it doesn't tell you anything. The closer you get to the peak of the triangle, the more probability is that whatever way, you know, if you go down, you're going to go up. If you go up, you're going to go down, you know. So this is going to get pretty interesting watching. Let's go take a look at uh, EXK for one of the targets out here. So this is uh, Endeavor Silver. The lows 247, the highs 455. They take in 55 million a quarter. Whoa, what happened here? Is this going to be out the licensing agreement? Let's take a look at this. Okay, so they come out with numbers. Okay, they, let's see what they had to say. Revenue, 55 million. That's minus 3.8% year over year. They were looking for seven cents and they only come in with three. Yeah, this is a problem. Now, this is going to be a secondary problem also because what you, ha what you have also, uh, interesting, is that you get huge volume. Okay, this can get down to, what is that, two, 248. You know, right now it doesn't look that bad on a weekly, but that's because we, you know, have a few more days left in the week. But that's, you know, what, you ha what is also happening out here, and we could just go over it quickly again, is the aspect of if you have, if you have silver minus period inside of, Mexico, they're going to present problems. Uh, the, the, not all, well, I don't know if all of them are or not. They, what, what does happen is this, is that the new law is stating that you're going to take 5% of the profits and it's the lease structure that's the problem. Because you can imagine, so picture this, the lease structure is going to be a big deal. The more I was thinking about this, so picture, this is where this comes down to, what ends up happening is that you, you have the property, you build the mine. And so let's say you're building the mine, you get, you know, a 60-year lease on it, right? Well, the mine itself costs a fortune. And then if they're going to pull back on the lease structure and then turn around and say, okay, now they, they own the mine, they have the lease, they don't give you another lease, or they give you a shorter-term lease and it's a much bigger number. Well, you, you can see what happens. They can destroy numbers. They can destroy companies pretty quickly. So I think that's going to be facing a lot of equities in doing business inside Mexico, which is, by the way, almost unheard of in the metals business. Because, yeah, it sounds like Russia. Because what has happened, that's, that's the bottom line. That's what happened when Putin came in. If you're, you know, depending, I know a lot of you Tigers and Tigers have listened to me for 20 years. And when I had um, Bob Kenneth, Bob Kenneth, Kenneth Forth? Bob, I forget his last name. But the bottom line, he was the CEO of Ken Ross Gold at that particular point. And he had already put, I think he had already put like, I don't know, 40, 50 million into the mine. And a bottom line is that he, he walked us through the whole deal. I mean, sometimes, you know, I have all those tapes. I just don't, <laughs> I just, I, I don't know if I, I think I mocked all of them, but it'll take a while to find something like that. But that was one of the coolest times that I think that a CEO flat out, that was at a money show we were doing, and he walked us right through the whole deal, right to the point of he had already put the money in. He was over in Russia. They were having another meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning. They had to drink a bottle of vodka first. I mean, he, he's the one who's saying this. It was hilarious. And then tur they turned around and, and laid it into him, um, and he didn't go for it. And then what ended up happening is that... Uh, he didn't go for it. I don't know if they canned him or he just quit Ken Ross at that particular point. But from that point on, you know, Russian mines, it, it was about three or four years after that. They just took them all over, basically. Disney. So let's take a look at Disney. Disney's going to be coming out with numbers after the close today. They are going to be looking for 
21 billion to the top line, 92 cents to the bottom line. They're looking that their media entertainment takes in 56 billion. The parks take in 28 million. They're not giving us numbers about the their growth. It doesn't look like they're growing at all, really. That's that's kind of how this is shaking out. Stay right there, folks, and we'll we'll continue with Disney as soon as we get back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Look at that. Oh my God, that's hilarious. So the, the you're talking about the spread in the Dow. The Dow is only down 10 right now. It was, it was by the way, the, the Dow had been up, I believe, almost 300. IMDU. Stay right there. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, trading down 32. Nasdaq's up 142. S&P's up 21. So let's get into this Dow for a second because this is... <laughs> Quite a move this Dow made out here today. We have a, a high of, uh, look at this. So it was a 400 point move. You have a high of 772, 33, 772, a low of 33, 239, and right now you're at 33, 541. That's a move, man. That is a move. And it's going to look like we didn't move at all by the end of the day. You know, so this is almost an inside day, except that you did have 
a 500-point move, 550-point move inside the Dow from highs to lows. And listen, if, if you're investing in it, it's hard to do. If you're trading in it, it's, you know, a little bit easier because on a day like that, you can just pick your sides and each side won. And that, that happens in high volatility markets, folks. That's the bottom line. You, you know, you do see that happen. Um, oh, bonds. Yeah, bonds want higher price, man. Check this out. I mean, this could be end up being T.Y. This could be a monster ABC up. We'll take a look at this. And this is where it's going to get really intriguing because the CPI, you know, it came in normal like what they were expecting. But if you listen to Tommy this morning, it's going to take a long, what is it? It was when he was breaking it down. For what we're going down on the CPI, folks, it would take three years to get back to 2%. So, and that would be stacking a five five and a half four four and a half three three and a half you do that for three more years you get some big numbers on top of it we take a look at the 10 year right now the 10 year you've done 1.3 million contracts today you take a look at it you got an expansion you know yesterday so watch you get down the last two days yesterday we did 1 million contracts. The day before that, you did 970. You go up today with 1.3. This is going to go to the top again. And if you take a look at the retracements that we had in the contract itself, you know, we did just over a 0.382. So your probability is, number one, you're going to get to the highs. If we break the highs, then you're going to see a, a I just, well, if we get the volume behind the move, you're going to see an ABC up, and it's a big ABC up. It's a, yeah, it's a seven point in the bond market. So you're talking 120, and right now you're at 115. The Fed rate right now is five to five and a quarter. That being said, the market rate, the 10 year, is trading at 3.4. Now, now check this out. If we if we go back, I believe it's six months. Nope, it's not six months. Okay, is it nine months? Okay, one second. Six months. I see. Okay, so we've come down seven tenths of one percent. And that's a lot when we're considering that, you know, you have the spread, we're only at 3.3. So that's the Fed saying one thing, the market saying something different, you know. And we'll see where this whole goes. Look at this, it's all green again. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> Let's go into the NQs and take a look at the NQs. They're, they're leading, and you remember something, when the, when the NDX is leading, that can drag the market up in a monster way, huge. So if we take a look at the, oh, and look what happened here. Look at this. See that, that last bar? That last bar has volume. Not as much as the, the volume that we had out here at 10, 10 o'clock this morning, but it had volume. That's for sure. So we take a look at the NDX. Yeah, it's breaking topside, man. This is the breaking top side. Yep. And the further you get away from this top, particularly because this consolidated top has been in place since, uh, what date is that? That's March 27th. March 27th. You get a break top side here. Um, oh, I know. We got to go back to Disney. That's what we're doing. So Disney, Disney does come out after the close today, May tenth, folks. So let's take a look at Disney here. Well, put this on. I got it on a weekly. Let me put it on a monthly. Okay. So on a monthly. You tested, I get close to the March 2020 low. The March 2020 low, you know, had monster volume, 610 million. You got down there with 200 million. This one's higher price. Not, and not just because of that, because I'm gonna show you here. Because the last swing point here had volume. It didn't hold price, but it had volume. 
So that's saying we're at 101. That's saying Disney can get to 107 to 118. We gave it up on price when it did trade to that 118. But see the, the amount of volume that you did? That's, that's a big volume spike right there. So what that says is that, you know what, it can make its way all the way up to that area. Let's go take a look at the gold market out here. So we start with the GDX. Still in good shape. You know, this thing's still in good shape. See, this is where the, okay, G, uh, let's go, let's look at, a, look at a few of them. Let's look at an Eco Eagle, AEM. That's definitely still in good shape. That's a, that's a big ABC up. Now, Newmont's been a dog. But we'll throw it up there and see what it looks like. Yeah, see, Newmont today rejected lower price as lighter volume. That's saying that the sector itself wants to go. Franco Nevada, FNV, that's one of the big streamers out here. Franco Nevada's an ABC up. And Franco Nevada wants to go break its all-time highs. This is uh, where it... 152, I think it's 189, the all-time highs. Let me look at this. Yeah, it's 189. But this is an ABC up on a weekly basis. So that should get up and over. Now, you want to see something that's really cool. You know, just looking at this, look at this. You got one, two, three higher lows, and so far we get two higher highs. It's quite a consolidation. It's a, this has been a monster consolidation. I mean... You know, if you were in this, you would take some heat, man, because the consolidation is one, so, yeah, it's, oh my God, it was like 105 up to uh, 150. But guess what? You know, inside of the gold market, that's kind of normal. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it, the heat comes. There is no doubt about it. The heat comes in spades. Now, if we set up like this, let's go see, I want to see in the NASDAQ, because the NASDAQ has volume coming in the queues. And then ASIC's going to have volume and the, the composite also. Compared to what we've been doing, you know, we've already done 4.1, so that, that composite's going to have some volume out there. If we go into the NYSE, that's going to be light volume. So this is, this is divergence. There's no doubt about that. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials flat. NASDAQ's up 148. S&P's up 24. We're coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 10. NASDAQ is up uh, 147. S&Ps are up 24. And we are going to go over and let's look at the diamonds for a second. I want to see how these are setting up. So the DIA, let's see. Yeah, you get some volume there too, man. Yeah. So this market wants a higher price. You know, you can see diamonds went down to the uh, 332, you're 335 today. You got a little swing up here, it's probably going to go after. The IWM had quite a move out here. The Russell had quite a move this morning, man. Well, not only this morning, just as the market the whole day. We hit 172, we did 174. Now, the difference in the, in the small caps is that you don't have volume. The volume's still not here in the small caps. If we go over to the um, banking index, what you have with the banking index, who don't touch this banking index, you can see that high volume low. This is still trouble, trouble in paradise. We take a look at the monthly on this. Yeah, this, the bank index, this would have to get back inside 4128 to even think about it. That's how this is set up. Set up. And if you go over to, uh, you know, this is going to get intriguing with Carl Icahn's company because what happened, first you had the Hindenburg come out with the acquisition that, and this is what the acquisition actually is, folks. The acquisition is that, see, when you take a look at this company, let's take a look at this. This is, well, here's a lot of companies. But this here, this is a master limited partnership. And depending on how long you've been in the, in the marketplace, remember we used to have so many master limited partnerships, pipelines, and all of those imploded. Not that this is different, okay, but it's a set up the same type of way. And he owns a huge amount of, well, it's, it says nine primary business segments, automotive, investment, energy, gaming, rail car, food packaging, metals, real estate, home fashion. The biggest part of this is um, energy. So the acquisition is that, so picture this, you, ha you have a fund and then you have all these private companies inside of the fund. And what he's doing, he's putting valuations on them, okay? So of course when you put the valuation on it, the folks look at it and say, okay, this is what the value is. This is why a, a, an equity could be this high and he was always paying a high dividend, okay? So there's a couple instances, if you, if, you, if you Google this, that you can see right off the bat that what he had done, and this is where it's gonna probably be trouble from, because what had happened today is that the, I think it's the Justice Department was asking for something. Yeah, so he had to disclose that the U.S. Attorney was seeking information about some of the units. And what they're gonna seek about, for sure, is there was one that they would put in, there was two actually in the Wall Street Journal as they, as they were explaining this. And one of them in particular was that he bought millions of shares in a small energy group at 89 cents and then valued it at almost $3 inside the fund. And that was like simultaneously. So. You know, we'll see where it goes. But you can see chart-wise, bottom line, things fell apart. 
goes down, does the counter trend bounce, and it's right back down here today. So we'll see where the whole thing's going to shake out, but it's trouble in paradise. When that did bounce, what he, what he did do is that he declared a $2 dividend per unit, which is a huge amount, by the way. And that was for owners, though. Don't get this confused, okay? Because what happened is that the stock, when he did that, the stock was trading at $30. And of course, if he had, you know, two bucks on 30, on a, on a quarterly dividend, it would be eight bucks for the year. So it's like, are you kidding? Eight, you know, you're talking about a 25, 26% dividend. Well, that was for owners at the end of March, not at the end of May. That was the end of March. And that bounced the stock. Now the bottom line is you're coming back down. You know, we'll see where the whole thing shakes out. But it's, I'm sure that he's uh, not too happy getting, you know, summonses from the government about valuations. Valuations inside private funds are, are always a problem. Not always a problem, but this is where they do stick out. There's no doubt about it. Um, Oh, yeah, well, I'll look at this. Okay, um, I'm, I'm going to almost tell you no about selling Fresno, but let me pull this up. FN, I've never, FN, okay, FN, LPF. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is... Okay, so this is Fresno, they provide mining exploration services. The company owns and operates silver and gold mines as well as portfolio development exploration projects along the gold, silver and gold boats in Mexico and the United Kingdom. Okay, so now let's look at this. They're headquartered in 1.3 million. Okay, let me see this. Yeah, see, you know, this is where this law, we got to really get to understand this law even more. So this one here is actually headquartered in Mexico City. We we'll take a look at it. See that hurt this one too. Interesting. Yeah. As soon as listen, as soon as they get regulations and yeah, this is surprising that this is not a lot a lot higher. I can tell you that. Now that being said, I think you could hang in there until like ten to eleven dollars. You're trading at nine dollars right now. Because this, you know, this is a high volume high. It pulled back with light volume. This doesn't trade a lot, but I kind of, ah, I'd kind of hang there. Uh, dollar wise, let's see. So this is a non liquid stock. Yeah, and they still take in 2.7 billion. You know, I'd hang there. I'd hang there up to, up to those, those higher levels. That's the way I'd, I'd trade that thing. You know, and you know, you could always swap it out for if you swap if you swap it out dollar by dollar, you know, then just, you know, basically, you know, let's say you take the number of shares you have, times the, the price, then go look at something else for the exact same thing. Because if you do a lateral move and stay in the business, you know, it doesn't matter well it always matters whether you win or lose what you're doing. But it's crucial my take is it's crucial right now to stay in the mining sector because the mining sector, you know, looks like, it looks to me, this inflation is not going to stop, folks, okay? It's going to come down a bit, but it's certainly not going to stop. I went up to, so check this out, man. Bridget and I went up to Maine um, over the weekend, and beautiful place, by the way. We went up to Kenny Bunkport, huge Kittery, Portsmouth, New Hampshire, and you wouldn't believe, well, you would believe, the amount of far help signs that were out, particularly in Kenny Bunk, was a kid, no, in Kittery, in Kittery. And what they were looking for, this is, was, this is the whole lobster business. We were eating lobster, having fun, you know, on basically checking out lobster boats and just wanted to be near the water and near, near that whole working environment. Um, and they're looking for lobster pickers and with a start rate of $16 up to $25 for experienced pickers. And I was talking to one of the biggest wholesalers up there, and they can't get any. At 20, well, the, he was explaining to me that the, you know, the, if you get really experienced pickers, I mean, that's amazing.
And it is what it is, you know? So that's just saying that, hey, some people aren't, a lot of people aren't working. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So let's go take a look at uh, Vista Gold, okay? So one of the tags is saying, you know, every time that, <coughs> as soon as it hits 68 cents, it's hard to basically buy or sell it. Well, see, today is only 66,000 shares. Now, this is a tricky stock, <coughs> buying or selling. And I, folks, I own this, and I've traded a lot, I own it. It's an ABC up to 79 right now. We hit 75. It's pulled back with light volume, and you can see how light it is, okay? When you buy, so when you're buying or selling this, now, on my screen up here, see how it says 69.70? If you have a TD Ameritrade, what you're gonna see let me see it this way, this way. You get it, that spreads out the four numbers. No, there's three numbers here I'm showing, okay? 0. 0.70. So it's, it's out to the hundreds, okay? And if you're trying to move it quick, the way you want to do it, you know, because it's only 69 cents, so I don't know if you're moving 1,000, 10,000, whatever it is. This is what you want to remember. Anything under 9,000 is not going to get stopped on the way up or the way down. So when you're putting orders in, if you're going to hit the bid or the offer, hit them at 9,000 a pop. That's how it works. So there's a, there's a rule that if you go with 10,000, what ends up happening is that the computer, it doesn't stop it, but the bottom line is a different execution than under 10,000. So when you're going in or out and you want to get the execution, go at 9,000. And that's what you're going to see 
Let me see if I can show you some today. There's, there's not a lot of action here because you're pulling back. Now, what ends up happening, yeah, see, well, there's only 8,700 here, 2,500, 2,500. 13,000 was this morning at 71. That was the high. See that? So the bottom line is it's just technically um, it's, a, it's something great to know as you're going in and out of uh, equities in general. And that's what all equities, by the way, okay? That's how that works, okay? Um, you know, if, you, if you're dealing larger equities, it, doesn't, it, it really doesn't matter because the SPY, you can go in and out of 10,000 a second. Most other equities, though, that 9,000 level is a big one to keep your eye on. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.